Hey there, this is Valerie with RPS Water Pump. So we're out here at one of our farm wells today, and I wanna walk you through all the parts that you would need to self-install a well pump. Now, all these parts also happen to be in our one and done easy installation kits that we sell on our website, but I wanna walk you through the context of what each part is and how it would fit into a well install. I've personally helped hundreds of people across America use a one and done kit to install their pump. They get to save some money, and the best part is they have no background in wells before using this kit. It's just that intuitive. Plus, they feel like they've picked up a new skill afterwards. So let me show you what a completed one and done well pump install is going to look like using our example well back here. And remember that all the parts that you see are included in the kit and can be shipped to you really easy. We're here at our example well with our submersible pump hanging in it, and I'm going to call out some of the parts that you see, starting with our submersible grade uh, pump wire, which is connected down through our well seal via a back 40 wire splice kit to the six foot pigtail off of the submersible pump itself. Then you're also going to notice our yellow safety rope, which is no rot marine grade safety rope. It's connected down to your pump's eyelet right here. Uh, and then we're going to start from the pump outlet. Starting from the pump outlet, I'm going to call out our plumbing connections. Off of the pump outlet directly is our stainless steel threaded nipple. Then connected to the stainless steel threaded nipple, you've got your stainless steel check valve. Connected to that is your stainless steel hose barb, which uh, connects up to your poly pipe. And what's holding that hose barb and poly pipe together um, is not only the barbs of the stainless steel hose barb itself, but some stainless steel hose clamp. All of these plumbing fittings are stainless steel because the pump itself is stainless steel. And we don't want any electrolysis to happen in the well if they're unlike metals touching or even uh, in the same submerged area together. So we've created a complete stainless steel kit that you don't have to worry about that. You'll notice that we taped everything together to keep it neat and tidy in the well. Electrical tape is included in your kit. So is our back 40 pipe thread tape. That tape is specifically designed to provide superior sealing to stainless steel pipe threads. So as we move up our poly pipe to the top of the well, you'll see that we have more stainless steel hose clamps, which connect to a stainless steel hose barb and a coupler then to a stainless steel threaded nipple, which goes right through your well seal to a stainless steel T. And on top of that T, you also get a hex plug included so that you are able to plumb out in two directions or just one. I usually tell people that self-installation of a well pump is very doable for any well that's up to 300 feet deep. Any deeper and usually the weight of the pipe, the well pump, the plumbing fittings, the wire just becomes a bit too cumbersome for you to self-install. Plus 300 feet is the perfect depth for using poly pipe. And that's why we made our one and done kits in options of 100, 200, and 300 feet so that they could fit any well depth within that range and be able to minimize waste. Now we have two options. On my left is our one inch poly pipe, which is good for pumping rates of about 15 gallons per minute or less. And then on my right, we've got our one and a quarter inch poly pipe, which is good for pumping rates up to about 25 gallons per minute, which is perfect for rural households. Usually you want a pumping rate for your household well to be between 10 to 25 gallons per minute just to handle all of the bathrooms and other faucets that you've got going around around the house. So let's start with the star of the show of this kit, which is our big roll of poly pipe. I've pulled uh, two options today, which is 200 feet of our one inch and 200 feet of our one and a quarter inch. And I'm gonna start over here with our one and a quarter inch and tell you a little bit about poly pipe. Poly pipe, which is also referred to as HDPE or high density polyethylene pipe is strong and durable, resistant to temperature fluctuations, which makes it great for outdoor use and flexible and lightweight. So compare those qualities to PVC, which is cheap, but not flexible and can be difficult to install when installing in 20 foot sections into a well. And then compare that even to galvanized steel, which is expensive, heavy, and you still have to install 20 foot sections into your well. All of the poly pipe that we use in our one and none kits is made in the USA and safe for drinking water. You want to look for the NSF certified wording along the side of your poly pipe to ensure that it's drinking water safe. Uh, we use this pipe in 
cabin applications, full-sized homes, drinking water for livestock, even irrigation for plants and veggies. Um, so it's good for any project that you've got going on that you need uh, safe piping for. So besides the diameter difference between our one and a quarter inch pipe and our one inch pipe, I haven't mentioned the other big difference, which is their PSI rating. Uh, our one and a quarter inch pipe is rated for 250 PSI. And this one inch pipe right here is rated for 160 PSI. The PSI rating is basically telling you how thick the wall of the pipe is. The higher the PSI rating, the thicker the wall and the more weight and pressure it can handle, which makes sense because one and a quarter inch pipe is going to be able to carry more water than a one inch pipe strand. And you can see how much bigger a one and a quarter inch 200 foot roll of poly pipe is compared to our one inch 200 foot roll of poly pipe. As you can see, I'm a pretty average size woman, but I'm able to manhandle this 200 foot roll of one and a quarter inch pipe pretty easily. So anyone in your family should be able to do this installation, no problem, even the kids. Both of these poly pipe rolls are rated as IPS or iron pipe size. All of the RPS water pump stainless steel fittings are rated as IPS, and so are most of the PVC fittings that you see out on the market today, uh, so that they're compatible with each other and swappable. Our general recommendation is to stay away from CTS blue PEX pipe, which is going to have different measurements, different internal diameter measurements of the pipe itself, than your standard plumbing, making them incompatible with each other. CTS is more often used with the copper plumbing that you find inside of your home. You'll end up with fittings that aren't compatible if you start mixing CTS and IPS, and at worst, you may end up damaging your pipe from having to force a fit. So you can't just use any type of building wire for dropping a pump down a well. We've seen it done before, and people end up with water in their electrical lines, which seeps into the motor and it ends up being a mess. What you need is wire that is rated for deep well submersible application. You can use this in freshwater or saltwater applications. It's got a temperature range of 40 to 75 degrees Celsius. That's its operating range temperature. So you can use it in Alaska or Florida, not gonna have a problem. This wire is double jacketed. That's the key. That's to keep all of your water and uh, moisture out of the lines. So around the outside, you see our black uh, PVC polyvinyl chloride uh, jacketing, and then you can see jacketing around each individual copper strand of wire. So you've got your green, your red, your yellow, and your black. This is also UL listed, meaning that it's been evaluated by an independent body uh, to be able to operate for submersible deep pump applications. Next up is safety rope. Safety rope is going to be used just in case one of your plumbing connects or poly pipe fails. So instead of your pump falling to the bottom of the well, the safety rope is going to be able to catch it and you'll be able to haul the pump back up to the surface so you don't have to fish it out. Safety rope installation is super easy. You just tie it off to one of the eyelets located on the top of the pump and then wrap it all up with electrical tape. You'll also be tying off the safety rope to the top of your well. You could tie it off to a post or even the well itself. So this safety rope is marine grade no-rot poly. It's the same stuff that you would find at a marina or used on a boat. Uh, it's not going to degrade under UV radiation. It's not even going to absorb any water. Uh, this stuff is super strong. Its tensile strength is rated at 1,125 pounds. That's like three times the weight of a 300 foot, one and a quarter inch, one and done while hanging in the well. So you'll be good. Now you've got two options for plumbing that you can select when you're shopping on the RPS Water Pumps website for a one and done kit. The first is going to be our well seal assembly style of plumbing. This is for warmer climates and being able to plumb straight through the top of the well with your poly pipe and all of your wiring will come up through the top as well. You'll receive a stainless steel well seal like this one here. Customers love replacing their old cast iron well seals with a brand new stainless steel one. It removes the risk of their cast iron well seal literally rusting together with their metal well casing. There's no danger of that happening with our stainless steel ones. The second option for plumbing is a well cap and pitless adapter assembly. This is for if you need to trench pipeline from your well and for colder climates where it's going to freeze. Now, your pipe is going to connect up to this stainless steel pitless adapter, 
which is going to be placed just a few feet uh, below ground level. It's going to be placed below the frost line of your local region. Uh, that's where the pipeline is going to connect up to. That's where your water is going to flow through. And then your wiring and safety rope is going to be threaded through uh, the well cap right here. So let's take a quick look at the type of plumbing that comes with each different type of well seal or pitless adapter assembly kit. We'll start with the well cap pitless adapter parts. You'll choose between fittings for one inch or one and a quarter inch pipe, depending on what you're using. Starting from the connections off of the pump, a stainless steel threaded nipple, stainless steel check valve, a stainless steel hose barb, and two stainless steel hose clamps. Then connecting from the top of the pipe, two more stainless steel hose clamps, another hose barb, and a stainless steel pitless adapter assembly. A well cap that fits five, six, or eight inch wells, back 40 thread tape for water type fittings, electrical tape, and a submersible pump wire splice kit. Now for the well seal version. Once again, you'll choose between fitting options for one inch or one and a quarter inch pipe. The connections off of the pump are the same as shown before, a stainless steel threaded nipple, a stainless steel check valve, a stainless steel hose barb, and two stainless steel hose clamps. Then, connecting from the top of the pipe through the top of the casing, you'll have two more stainless steel hose clamps, another hose barb, stainless steel coupler, stainless steel threaded nipple, stainless steel T plus hex plug, your stainless steel well seal to fit a four, five, six, or eight inch well casing, and then your accessories including back 40 thread tape, electrical tape, and a submersible pump wire splice kit. So I just wanna give you a little bit more context about each piece of plumbing that you saw in the one and done kit. First, we have our threaded nipple. This is what it looks like, you know, not installed, it's just basically a piece of plumbing that connects the pump to another piece of plumbing. What comes after is this check valve. You'll get a little cover on the check valve portion itself. Basically, this is a backflow protector. You'll see that there is a pedal inside of this valve that allows water to only go one way. So you'll see a one-way directional arrow. The water should be going that away. The next piece is your hose bar. Again, just a connector portion threaded on one end. And then on the other is your barbed connector. These little teeth are going to be able to grab onto the poly pipe and hold so that you have a really tight seal and the poly pipe isn't going to be moving around on this piece of plumbing. And then the other part that might be a little confusing to you is your splice kit for pump wire. Now, each one of these metal rods actually has a hollow opening on either side so that you connect. Uh, your yellow wire on one side from the pump pigtail to the yellow wire on the submersible pump extension wire that you're going to be using. Um, and then you cover each one of those crimp connections. You crimp it down onto the wire. Uh, you cover it with one of our crystal clear splice tubing. So you just take a heat gun or a lighter and melt this down. And then you have a waterproof connection between the two pieces of wires. All right, so that's it for explaining these one and done kits. I want to know when you are going to be installing your next well pump using one of our one and done kits. Comment below or give our pump specialists a call on the phone. We can walk you through all the parts that you need, all of our recommendations, our tips that we've accumulated over the years, and we would be happy and honored to help you install a well pump yourself.